morning again guys. Morning. So our first stop of the day today, being Tuesday, here on Anglesey, is uh, Triado Bay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't know. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dead. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. And a very windy morning here on the Isle of Anglesey. Uh, 26th of October, just gone 9.30 um, and I'll show you this little uh, park up that we found on uh, uh, Pitch Up which is here up in uh, Penn Craig is the name of the campsite in Anglesey um, and this guys was just 18 quid for the night with water, electric, showers, toilets a uh, little campsite, about 15 parking spaces, just up by getting up towards Hollyhead on Anglesey. So, little farm, little setup. That jet up there, guys. So yeah, look at this. Let's uh, say you got electric got uh, it's obviously grass pitch there's caravans um, camper vans motorhomes uh, gravel hard gravel standing coming in obviously grass pitch Claire's just getting some breakfast on for us bless her morning <laughs> so let me just show you what you get for your money so uh, as I was saying Penn Craig is the name of the campsite here uh, up in a Hollyhead on the Isle of Anglesey, something to say 18 quid. That ain't bad at all, is it? And uh, you got water, plenty of, you can get there. As I say, you've got your electrical cups, as you can see there. There's actual uh, electric sort of stack, uh, you know, stands with electric on. Come back through here, which is the entrance. And these guys, get this, these guys, we were. Yesterday, as you saw on the va last vlog on Love Island, <laughs> um, we uh, didn't get here till 7.30 at night. Now we just rang ahead to say we're running a little bit late. And they said, yeah, no problem, I'll meet you as you come, as you come in, just give us a, a pip at this house here. And they came out and let us in. So here you got, you got your toilets. Nice and clean, very, kept very well clean. Look at that. You've got showers. You got your Elsin pointing around the corner here, which is there. You just dump your Elsin in there. You got your water to flush it away. Lovely shower room. Look, toilet and shower. Was that guy's just been in? But it can, but yeah, nice and warm. So you got showers, toilets, Elsin point, water, rubbish bins. And it's a little old, again, a little old farm, diversing into something else. Uh, they've been going for a few years, I'd say, because they have a, a new block being built there, I would say, for showers and everything. And they've also got a higher one, like higher um, uh, static uh, camp, uh, motorhome, motorhome, static van out, just by us. And this is the road in. And that's then on to where we're going today, up into Anglesey. So yeah, I thought we'd just give you a quick blast round. This uh, Pen Craig here in uh, Anglesey, which is um, a, um, a pitch-up uh, site that we found on pitch-up for 18 quid. Can't be bad, can it? Right, we'll catch you later on in the day. Bye for now. Morning again, guys. Morning. So our first stop of the day today, being Tuesday, here on Anglesey, is uh, Triado Bay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Mum, I think it's that way. Mum, Mum said you need to go and have a look when you're up on Anglesey, where me and your dad went years ago, probably in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> to Triada Bay, it's a lovely place, and she is right. Look at this. 
Good choice, Mom. Definitely. It's a bit windy and yeah. cold this morning. Look at Claire <laughs> digging the glasses on. <laughs> My eyelashes. <laughs> Same for eyelashes. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh dear. Look at that sea rolling in there. It's a bit fierce. We've got the windsock on the Osmo, so shouldn't. Uh... See the A's, the white sort of A's of uh, fog coming in off the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should have said that, should I really, to be honest, you wouldn't see you, would you? Nope. Can you see the sun blaring? Nope, it's quite dark. <laughs> your, your glasses are doing a good job then. <laughs> so yeah, I got the windsock on. Definitely needed here. Guys, it's a pretty, pity it isn't smell of vision I'll tell you what, smell that sea, can you? Oh, lovely. Salt, salt air smell. Whew. Spray coming in. I love Anglesey. Bit of a jetty there to launch your boat. Triada Bay. Right, we're going to go and see if we can catch a coffee and a tea somewhere. Have a bit of walk around the headland here, all the way around, probably. This is a beachy bit. And we'll catch you a bit later on today. Somewhere new. Bye for now. Uh, Windy. Jeez. There's a breeze coming in off the sea. Look at that. That's breaking my heart each morning while it keeps <laughs> right guys, catch you later on today. mountains known as uh, Parry's Mountain, the old copper mines, yeah. um, which is just outside, where was it outside of? It's still on Anglesey, obviously we're still on Anglesey, and we're sitting in the van because outside is blowing a gale like you would not believe. It's extremely windy. So when we go out there to show you, it, it, it's just going to be wind, wind, wind blowing around <laughs> you won't hear us. So we thought we'll tell you a bit of history on it before we get out the van. Um, so yeah, the uh, Parry's Mountain, copper, the old copper mine is what it's known as. And Claire will tell you a bit more on that now. Yep, so it's the copper mine where the miners were already busy in the Bronze Age, perhaps 4,000 years ago. After the 1760s, this small corner of Wales became the cauldron of the Industrial Revolution. Paris Mountain briefly produced more copper than any mine in the world. The copper from this mine coated all the warships of the Royal Navy at Trafalgar in 1805. Good old Wikipedia. Tells you loads, doesn't it? Right, guys, we're going to take you out into the wind. So, get ready. Catch you in a minute. I did warn you, it's windy. Very. The old, so it's the Copper Mine Trail. Harry's Mountain. I've got the wind sock on the Osmo Action. Hopefully, that'll. Uh, Buffer it down a bit. This is the car park, so 
I can only get in with the van, so I have to park over the other side of the road. There's actually a, a big uh, lay-by area on the other side of the road. And then you come into here, which is a car park for it, which is the start of the trail. Pictures here, with a wand around it, I think. You had a bit of history, we were told you earlier on. That's the old, the minings, which is in the middle of here apparently. This is where we are now, there. And we're probably just going to do this bit round here for now. Because it's windy. And that there, which is the old Morden not mine, and that's the one up the top there, that wheel. So, Let's battle on! Windy enough for you. Right, actually. Still get your glasses on. <laughs> is, it, is it all the, uh, the copper glare? Yeah, it's bright. <laughs> it's bright. Some are choosing to walk. And climb and scramble up the side of it, look. Windy up there, look. That's where we're going up that way. Weirdly off Mars or the likes of me. Hey? Thing you have to watch out for, guys. If you're not good on your feet, you watch your ankles because it's very uh, rocky everywhere, literally. Go down that way and I'll go up and down the other side. Down there, look. On the track. Yeah, I'll catch you down there. No, especially when I just told everyone, watch out because of your feet with your footings. Footings? Is that a house for a dwarf? <laughs> Probably right, yeah. I don't know whether they'll be able to hear us, but this is windy. <laughs> Very windy. Should I send the drone up? Why not? You know where it hands. Go up and go, gone. Pity though, I'd love to have got the drone up here, but you'd have to pick a real, real calm day to send the drone up here. Probably like this all the time.
quite in here. That's better at the wind. Oh, hello. 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 What are you doing up there? What are you doing down there? It's not windy down here. It's no. nice in here. Kiss. Kiss. Kissy. Kissy. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> this must have been some old, obviously, tunnel that they're boring down or something. I don't, I don't know. Pump house. So it's like the wind windmills it was at the time. Obviously we'd be used to pumping, grinding, getting the ore with the copper out. This has been like a windmill of the day. <laughs> right guys, come on the last. This was as it says it have you ever heard of a wind assisted steam engine that's what effectively this was created when mine captain hughes oversaw the construction of this windmill in 1878 so it was a windmill assisted steam engine guess it's getting getting the out the wind right are you windy out there it's lovely in here <laughs> look at it's good. No wind. Me and Giz are all right. Oh my Giz. Get out. <laughs> You're getting blown away. <laughs> right, we're going to go down that way. Right, I'll get down. <laughs> and there you are. Coming up there is the big open mines all the way down where they used to go down to mine by the looks of it. in the mining face, the mining hole. Look how vast this copper mine was back in them days. It's unreal really. Oh, we lost the wind here a bit. I nearly lost my hat, I had to take it off at the place. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it?
see it looks like gold at that point there, doesn't it? Big gold. Some stupid dog. Keeps pulling you. Pulling me, so I can't get a picture. <laughs> Do you have a camera? Yep. Oh, so polite then. You can walk in the bottom, look at people down there. Huh? You can walk in the bottom. Bit of a viewing point here guys, where you can come and have a look over the edge. Paris Mountain. Look at that. Down there it looks like there's even a, a cave or something, an hole going underneath where they've just come out of. See there's a cave, an hole, where they've just come out of that hole down there. See it right down there? Oh, great open cast Paris mountain, mountain in the early 19th century. That's where we are now, just there. And look at that. Oh, around 4,000 years ago, Paris mountain began revealing itself with the Bronze Age. Great discovery on the 2nd of March 1768, a great mass of copper ore close to the surface was discovered at Paris Mountain. How they used to do it, them days, horse and cart. Just noticed here the actual person who uh, found Paris Mountains was rewarded with a bottle of brandy and free rent of a cottage for life. I mean, the brandy's a bit, you know, but yeah, yeah, that's the main thing. Right. right, so what we got then? One. That's it. Platform and horse whim. Two. <laughs> Paris mine yard. So that's the mine yard where they were getting all the ore out. Number three, which is up here, look. That's where the roasting kilns were. Where they roasting it all. Four up here with where that windmill is then, the powered windmill. So that's Kane's engine house and shafts. Yeah, with the windmill, where we went. Five. Five is Kane's windmill. Six. Hill there. engine house. Seven's down here. That's a hillside open cast. That's the open cast, the other side of the big one right here, yeah. Eight. Precipitation ponds. So that's where all the water ponds were, the other side. Nine. Mona mine yard. So that's a mine yard. Ten, which is right down into the, the heart of it. Marquis shaft. And then, and that was it. Okay. So there you go. Paris Mountain of gold. Well, not gold, copper. <laughs> Looks like gold is copper. Right, guys, I think for today, and this one. We're all coppered out. We're all coppered out. So we're going to head back to the van and head back to uh, the campsite for tonight, which is a pub, it's not a pub and campsite, I think, isn't it? So, Probably gonna have some Which we're going to need it tonight. After all this wind. So don't forget, that's the end of this one. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, press that button. And we'll catch you somewhere different tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Right, a quick one, guys, before we end this vlog. Um, only just down the road, probably three miles from um, the old uh, copper mines um, ruins. Or diggings, or whatever you want to call it. Is uh, where we're parking tonight. Five... Uh, pitches here at the back of this pub Electric water or cups Obviously there's a static here as well and You can also hire uh, these yurts It's a bit windy at the moment though So <laughs> I wouldn't be in one of them tonight So they're like little tent yurts um, And again A good old uh, I reckon uh, uh, Campsite finder for us Which is again um, pitch up This is for tonight, one-nighter, they let you do one-nighters if you go on their, uh, on that app, on that website 
and you can find this was 16 pound guys 16 pound for the night and you got your water you got your electric you got your toilets you got your um, even got a laundry room here you got the pub itself which we're going to have someone to eat in tonight uh, even allow dogs in pet friendly even got gas as well if you want to pick some gas up but uh, at least you know being a pub they got this facility of uh, showers you can see they've got a shower cubicle ideal toilets toilet facility even got a, if somebody's any it's engaged drop back later so obviously being a pub stop over I don't I think it's in Brit stops as well but obviously on uh, pitch up it's uh, chargeable which you, you don't mind especially this time of the year winter because you're struggling for electric on you this time of year really even though we've got loads of solar you still struggle a bit that's in the laundry room and uh, plenty of parking outside if you just come off chance there's a Brit stop just there I will what three words it for you guys just here now so you can see see the uh, location there you have it the ring pub it's a free house rooms caravan park so obviously they've set themselves up as a um, a b and b as well by the looks of it so which is good and obviously the caravan five pitches behind the back there but for that money you can't go wrong can you to be honest with you and you can get somewhere to eat and drink later on so Catch you later on. Guys, we've decided because we're on the Ring campsite for tonight here in Anglesey and at the Ring pub, so we thought we might as well treat ourselves tonight to a meal. Uh, now being Tuesday night, so I'm just going in to see if uh, we can sort out a meal for tonight. Guess who's in here already? Gizzy's already having dinner. Open fire. So, right. Let's sit down and order. So, dinner's arrived. Claire, what you got? Curry. Wow. Curry and Uri. Not and so much Uri, but curry. And I've got scampion chips. And guess what? What you got, Giz? <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> He's licking his lips. Sorry, Cheers, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he's away. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's tuck in, guys. Let's be. See you later. Well, that was a lovely meal in the ring, wasn't it? Was it? The ring in. And still windy. Still windy outside. That hasn't calmed down. I've got my hat on. So yeah, that was that was lovely. What do you think? Is your dinner? We had steak and gravy. We had a doggy dinner. Yeah. That is within seconds. Didn't wait for us. <laughs> and then it was going, what you got now? <laughs> so right, that's uh, gonna be it for tonight, I think. So we'll see you tomorrow. Somewhere different, as we said before. Absolutely. Oh, look at them, them are nice. Tense. Anyway guys, we'll catch you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye. Good night. Bye.